Oh, we rolling. Hey there, this is Mr. G, 1965. I guess you figured that out when you clicked on the channel. I want to show you what I've done to my heritage here without uh, really spending any money to mount anything. This windshield here, I, I painted it. Come over here, cameraman. I painted it. Uh, what I done, I went to the inside over here and sanded it down on the inside. It's like you would wood. And it's slick on both sides. Hey, whatever can of paint, that's all that cost. I think it looks pretty good like that. Put a little bit of leather on it and I done that right after I got it. Come on back here, cameraman. I made this fender be out of a piece of uh, stainless uh, notes of aluminum. Made that out of a piece of aluminum. Bent it and drilled it and polished it and put this carbon fiber tape on it, kind of striped it up a little. And back here at my license plate, I didn't buy no lay down, you know, like a lay down bracket. Can you see that real good there, Hobbs? You can actually take your bracket that it's uh, on your bike and put it in a vise and you can make her lay down, I promise you. All the brackets on these soft tails. The bottom of the bracket contours with your fender. All you gotta do is take that off. It's got a little T coming up on it. Take that T off. Put that in a vise, leave the bolts in it, and this head will come right down there. Put the bolts right back in there. Go up and put your nuts on, and you've got it. And these saddlebags here, when I got this bike, these were collapsed. I'll show you a trick to that. Another thing, this here didn't cost nothing, just a few minutes of time of abandoning it. And these saddlebags right here were collapsed. You know, you're standing on my material or camera, man. This stuff right here, this is insulation that uh, goes in these big transformers. I seen this, one of my old buddies out the road here had something. I said, I need a piece of that. He said, what in the world are you gonna do with that? I said, fix my saddlebags. You cut that with a saw. You can take a skill saw, turn the blade around backwards, cut whatever size you want out of that. You can find out about it anywhere. I got some right here if you need it. <laughs> but anyhow, I cut that and put that. Look right down in here, cameraman. Can you see down in here in this bag? See how good you can look there. I cut that and wedged that in there right under that leather. Just popped it right in place. Hey, that fixed them bags right up. I think a, a kit to fix your bags like that's a hundred and some bucks. Don't need no kit. Mr. G has got the material right here for you. So uh, come and see me, we'll fix it. And I, I, which I took my luggage rack off in the back seat and all that, so loaded out. So far, so good. Uh, it's a nice bike. This is old Ruby. So I put about 4,000 miles on Ruby this, this summer so far. So, so far, so good. Thank y'all for checking my video out. This has been Mr. G, 1965, and we'll catch you later. Aww.